Hey guys, this is Blendmaster here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this pair of eyes completely from scratch in Blender, including all the textures. That's the iris texture and these veins you can see right here. So let's get started. First, open up the Blender, and I'm going to enable screencast keys, and right here, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see it'll show you all the buttons I'm clicking so you can follow along if I don't explain something and you don't understand so first thing I'm going to do is select this lamp and delete it then I'm going to take this cube tab into edit mode press W merge at center what this does is it creates a single point right here in the center and we're going to use this point to create a halo material so if you go over here to the properties tab and create a material you can change it to halo and then we're going to select rings and make it about 180 now we'll go back to the world settings and make the background black so if you press 1 on the numpad key it'll go to front view and if you press 5 it'll make it orthographic now you can snap the camera to this view by pressing control alt and 0 on the numpad and now let's change the resolution to 1920 by 1920. So if you press Shift Z right now, it'll change the 3D viewport into render mode, so it renders everything in real time. As you can see, this material here is too small. So if you go back to the material, you can change the size just by dragging it across. So that's a little too big. So I'm going to make it smaller until there's just a small border around the edge that's good enough so now we'll just render this picture out and you can press F3 to save the image so I'm gonna go save this image and it's a good idea to save your blend file too because Blender tends to crash a lot and you might end up having to restart this project or you'll have to just give up if you don't want to spend the time to do it again so now I'm going to open up a new scene and in this scene we're going to create a mask and to do that it's very simple all you have to do is go to top view and then add a camera and we'll set the resolution to the same as it was for the previous picture We'll press Control Alt Zero. Now I'll press N to bring up this tab over here, and I'll add a background image, which is the image that we just created. So to create the mask, I'm going to add a circle. And as you can see, there's no face so far, and that's the area that's going to be black, which will be our pupil. So I'm going to tab into edit mode and scale it down. And then I'm going to press E to extrude and scale it up so that it's just past the lines in the picture background picture so as you can see if we go to solid view we have our faces in like a donut shaped ring and we want to add a material that's a shadeless white color and we'll make the background solid black now if we render out this image you can see that there's some sharp edges here and to fix that all we have to do is add a subdivision surface modifier make that too okay. now I'll press control left arrow to head over to the compositor or you can just use the drop down menu over here I'll click use nodes backdrop and then I'll press control up arrow to make it bigger now if you press control shift and hold down and click on the render layer node it will bring up a viewer node so you can see what you're doing in the background if you press V you can also make the image smaller and alt V to make it bigger so first I need to make sure I'm in the right scene which I'm not so let's set up everything again and now I'm going to add a blur so that when we mask out our picture it won't be as sharp around these edges so I'll press shift A filter blur and I'll set it to fast Gaussian relative and set it to 2.5 by 
2.5. Now I'll press Shift A, input image, whoops, and I'll bring in my image that we created earlier. Now if I press Shift A, color, mix, and plug in this node to this one and change it to multiply, you can see what the effect is. It's taking all the area in this image that's white and sh displaying it here and wherever it's black will be solid black in this picture. If it's gray you can see it begins to fade off and get darker. So now I want to add a bit of contrast to this picture and to do that I'll add an RGB curve by going to color RGB curve. Now this C here I'm not sure what it stands for, but it changes the brightness and darkness. So if you drag this up, the whole picture will be brighter and lower, it'll be darker. So this is sort of what I want, but I want it to be over here so that the center is brighter. And I can bring this up to make it even more contrasty, or if that's a word. So now I'll duplicate this multiply node and switch it to add and add this picture back here so now we have our basic iris and to add color all we have to do is mul uh, duplicate the multiply node again and go to shift a input rgb so if we plug this in all these white lines will show this whatever color we make here and if it's gray it'll be a little darker and whatever is black will be solid black so we can easily change the color of our iris to whatever we want to. I'm going to pick a bluish color. And now if we plug this into the composite node and render it out again, we can save this as the iris picture. Now I'll head back and create a new scene for our eye. So first thing I'm going to do is add a UV sphere and I'm going to tab into edit mode and rotate along the x-axis by 90 degrees and if I go to side view and orthographic view I'm going to get rid of this background image really quick you can click on this vertex right here and if you press control and plus on the numpad key it'll grow your selection so I'm going to grow it to about right there and or no I'll press control minus and that'll take away from your selection so this is enough I'll press shift D I'll press H to hide that selection then I'm gonna select the same thing again really quickly and press scale Y negative 1 then I'm gonna move this along the Y axis so it's rounded off like the sphere and I'll press A to unselect it and then alt H to bring back the hidden selection and I'll move this in a little bit so this is going to be our lens and we can add that material by going over here and clicking new but we have to change the cycles render because that's the engine we'll be using and I'm gonna make four materials really quickly lens eye pupil and iris so I'll go to lens and press assign and then I'll hide this selection again and if we go to the center point and press control plus we can press E to extrude it and then extrude it again inwards so that that'll be where our pupil is so if I press control plus again to select that entire area I can go to pupil and click assign for the iris will have this entire area as the iris image that we created earlier so if you press alt and right click it'll select the entire loop if you hold down shift alt and right click it'll add to that selection so I'm just going to do that for this entire section and then go to the iris and press assign then if you um, press select for all the materials you created already whoops uh, select and select you can press control I and that'll invert your selection and we have to add this loop too and this is going to be our eye texture so now we can uh, tab out of edit mode 
and I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and the shortcut for that is just pressing control 2 and I'm going to make it smooth shading so now if we press 1 and 5 or never mind we can we're in orthographic view and we can edit our uh, eye materials so for the pupil all I'm gonna do is make it a solid black color for the eye I'm gonna make it solid white and for the lens I'm gonna change it to a glass shader for the iris we'll bring up the node um, view because it's a little more difficult to edit right here in the small space so if you drag this corner out you can open up another window and I'll switch it to the node editor and I'll press N to get rid of this tab and for the iris we just want a diffuse shader and we're going to add a image texture and this will be the iris that we created earlier so to get this iris to be exactly where we want it, we need to we're going to need to create an UV. And to do this, all we have to do is select the section that we want and press U project from view bounds. And now if we go to the UV image editor, we can edit this UV so that it matches perfectly where we want it. So I'm going to scale this in till the inner circles just a little bit inside of the entire ring and then I'm going to select these two and scale them out a little bit like that. So now I'll go back to the node editor and to make sure that our 3D object uses that um, UV we'll press shift A input texture coordinate and connect the UV to it. So now if you go to texture view and tab into edit mode you can see that it's using our iris texture so I'm gonna save again and if you press shift Z to go into render view you can see that it's just completely black and that's because we don't have any lights so to add a light I'm gonna go to side view press shift A add a plane and rotate this by 45 degrees negative 45 degrees and I'm going to scale it up by 5 and move this back here by pressing G and now to make this emit light I'm going to press new emission and make it just a bright white so now if I go to front view and press shift Z you can see that this plane is illuminating light onto our eyeball but it's in the way of our uh, picture so to get it out of the way but to keep it emitting light if you go over to this button over here which looks like an orange cube and scroll down there's this tab called ray visibility and if you open it and click camera it'll hide it from the view of the camera but it continues to emit light so as you can see our eyeball is completely um, created and done and you can stop right here if you wanted to but you could also go ahead and create the veins for the eyeball and that's really simple too so I'll show you how to do that first I'm going to press H to hide this plane so it's not in our way I'm going to press Z to go into solid view so to create the veins texture I'm just going to open the UV image editor again I'm going to press plus and I'm going to create a new image called veins and I'm going to set it to solid white then I'll press OK and I'll go to front view again tab into edit mode and I'm gonna select everything that's part of the eye and press U project from view bounds so now if we go to the node editor we're going to have to add this image so that it knows to use it so we'll do input texture coordinate and then texture image texture and if we click this button here it'll have the recent images we just created or uploaded so I'll select veins plug it into the shader and plug in the UV I also want to add a glossy shader to this so I'll press shift A shader glossy and press shift A shader mix shader so what this will do is it will combine the diffuse shader and the glossiness to create a sort of reflective surface and I'm going to move this to point 2 because I don't want it really shiny otherwise it will look unrealistic 
So I'm going to close this window again. And to paint on our veins, all you have to do is go to texture paint mode. And I'm going to set this radius over here to 1, strength to 1, and I'm going to make this a dark red color. So now if you zoom into your image and rotate around, all you have to do is left click and drag and you can paint on the, these veins that'll look realistic once you're done. All you have to do is make random patterns and just keep going. So I'm going to pause the recording while I do this and I'll come back when I'm done. So as you can see, I finished uh, painting on my texture here. And this part all depends on what you want to do, uh, how much detail you want to put, and you can really let your creativity run wild here. So wherever you see an open space, you can just paint in some random lines. And that's all you have to do, pretty much. So now I'll go back to object mode. And as you can see here, there's a little gap between the lens and the eyeball. So to fix that, I'm going to tab in to edit mode. And I'm going to unhide that selection. And if you click any point on this and press Control l it'll select all the vertices that are connected to that object. And I'll just drag it along the y-axis until it's inside the eyeball. And that's it. So now I'll press 1. And if you want to create two eyes next to each other, the easiest way to do that is just add a mirror modifier. And so if you tab into edit mode and select everything and drag it across the x-axis, you can see that across the origin point, the eye is completely mirrored and it'll have everything just like it is here. If you, so if you uh, go to rendered view, I have to unhide the plane. I can do that by pressing Alt H. You can see that it looks exactly the same, but it's mirrored onto the other side. So now you have a pair of eyes. So to set up the camera, all I have to do is press Shift A, Camera, Control Alt Zero, whoops, and then you can just um, move the camera around to where you want. And all you have to do is press G to move it around. And you, if you press the middle mouse button, you can zoom in and out too. So I'm just going to leave it right here, and I'll go to the render button, click render, and this is what we'll get. But as you can see, it's really grainy and it doesn't look that nice. So to fix that, all you have to do is go down to where it says sampling here, and you can increase the render to about 100. And what that'll do is it'll make the detail much finer and get rid of the grain. But the only problem Sorry about that, my uh, recording software just cut out, but uh, the only problem is if you increase the samples, it'll take a little longer for it to render, but it'll still be much clearer than it was before, as you can see. So this is the final image we have here. Save it, just press F3, and just save it to wherever you want, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Please comment and give me advice on what to do better next time. Tell me how you like it. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, just leave it below in the comments. Bye.